Hey guys, real quick video on how to use these little bent rivet gauges. So these little rivet gauges are quite handy. They are two tools in one. One side has a hole on it, the other side has a notch. The idea behind the hole, as you can see here, is that you should be able to slip it over the rivet just enough so that it will actually sit there and hang by itself on the rivet. It shouldn't be too tight, it shouldn't be too loose. If you cannot fit that rivet into the hole, then you've over squeezed. Or if you put it on and it just falls off, you've over squeezed. The idea is you want that hole to be completely filled by the rivet. The other, th the other side of the tool has this notch on it. The idea behind the notch is you, when you drag the notch down across the aluminum, that rivet should not be able to pass underneath that ridge. It should actually stop when you get there. So. That's how I was told to use it, it's how I was shown how to use it, and it seems to come up with a really good consistent rivet. I would say go through and check just about every rivet you can, and if it doesn't match, uh, match up with your tool, you might have to reset the rivet. Uh, now we can have a conversation later about tolerances either way, you know, which is more importantly slightly over squeezed or slightly under, entirely different conversation. But that's how you use these guys. Um, they're, they cost a couple bucks. They're real cheap. I would say have at least one set of them. Thanks.